Okay, so something new that I'm adding to my newsletter is going to be a monthly forecast just to give us an idea about what we're going to be working on each month. So the top card is what we're coming into the month with. The three cards in the middle are the aspects we're working on this month. And the one at the bottom is how it all comes together to carry into the next month. So if we look at this overarching card, we see the projections card. So projections have a lot to do with ways we might have been making ourselves look a certain way or wanting to project a certain idea about ourselves. So any way in the past month we haven't been honest with ourselves or others, this is a time where we're kind of getting pulled up short about that. It might have had to do with finances. This might be a point where you're going, wow, I really do have to be more careful. I have to be more conscious. I can't pretend that things aren't shifting or changing. It might be a bit of a wake-up call in terms of how you conduct yourself, your work going forward. We are moving quite far now into the second wave. And so any ways that we might have been telling ourselves things were different than they actually are, this is a bit of a wake-up call. It's saying be real with yourself, be real with others, look at where you might have been kidding yourself or projecting something different than where you're really at. This is a time for honest conversations with ourselves, with others, really getting down to what's really going on. Because when we're real with ourselves, that's when we can also actually be effective and get things done. So this is about get real, look at what needs to change in your life, and start doing something about it instead of telling yourself or others that everything's fine if it's not. So we have the guidance card. This is a time to really start to listen to your intuition or get guidance if you have trouble doing that. But it's very much a, I guess you could say a fly by the seat of your pants in the sense that we're really having to adapt to things as they change. So this isn't so much about being able to plan ahead as much as it is being really present in the moment, looking at what needs to be addressed right now and checking in with yourself, really listening to what your intuition is saying needs to happen. So you might be on a particular trajectory only to find that now you've got to change course and you've got to go by your intuition to do it. So if there's times where you feel like the rug is being pulled out from under you, just realize that that means it's time for you to really trust your intuition. And it might mean letting go of a plan, moving in a new direction, doing things differently. So the burden card tends to highlight the areas in our lives where we are putting out more energy then we're getting back. So this can be career change or asking for that promotion or changing what you're doing in your business, looking at are you working smarter or are you working harder? Making sure you're not putting in more effort than the return you're getting. So this is a time for really getting clear on how you're using your energy. It can also apply to your personal life. Are you having a lot of arguments with somebody and nothing is really getting resolved? Do you need to change how you approach that relationship? Do you need to take a break? Do you need to step away? This is about conserving your energy and being aware of where the way you apply your energy benefits others more than yourself. Again, a bit of a wake up call. What do you need to do differently so you have energy going forward? The isolation card, what you see here is frozen emotion. So if you've been getting very much in your head or very stoic about how you're handling things, it's saying you're going to have to feel this. You're going to have to acknowledge the feelings you've been ignoring. Yes, it could very well get messy 
Yes, it's going to get uncomfortable. Growth often is. So this is really a time to let yourself feel what you're feeling. Look at the things in your life that are not working for you. Go with your intuition and make some major changes. And the changes may not be massive externally, but they might be big for you simply because you're finally taking steps to deal with things that you've been sitting on for a long time. So you're setting those boundaries. You're making the changes to free up your energy so you can do the emotional work this month calls for. And as we can see, what that's going to lead to is a shift in relationships. This is really a time to go from the pretense you came into the month with, maybe not being completely upfront with people, not being honest about your feelings, to by the end of the month, having established stronger relationships because you did the emotional work. You looked at where you were putting out more energy than you were getting back. You listened to your intuition when it said, you've got to deal with this. You allowed the emotions to come up so you would be really present emotionally as you have those discussions that will make for stronger relationships. So some relationships may drop away, some may change, but in the end, you're coming into the end of the month with a stronger connection with the people that you can build relationships with. So a lot of stuff around relationship this month, some of it may be personal, some may be professional. So think about the real conversations you need to have Take down the wall you've had of pretense that you thought was protecting you, but was really just keeping you from a stronger, more honest connection with people. Look at where your intuition has been nudging you for a long time to deal with this. Where are you losing energy? How do you need to get that back? What boundaries need to be set? What conversations need to happen? What emotional material has to surface so you have the presence and the energy to address this? And you can see it's going to be worthwhile because coming out of the month, relationships will be strengthened. Some may drop away, but the ones that remain will be stronger for those honest conversations. And I'll look forward to giving you another reading next month. Take care, and I'll see you soon.